Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how I blow out and trim my own hair. So right now I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I'm just taking out my twist from when I had it in a deep conditioner. Then I'm going to add my leave-in conditioner, which is the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I'm just adding enough so that it can coat my whole head. To seal in the moisture from the leave-in, I'm adding the El Natural Light Hair and Body Oil. You can see that I'm mostly just focusing on my ends. When I add oil, I just make sure that my ends receive it so it can penetrate it and it doesn't really matter if it goes over the rest of my hair. Like always, I'm splitting my hair into two halves and then I'm gonna start with the back section. It's like a medium sized section. I'm adding the Silk Elements Olive Heat Protecting Spray. I add about five or six sprays and I make sure to work the heat protectant into the section so that none of my strands will be left out. Then I'm using the Conair Infinity Pro uh, three-in-one ceramic styler hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long name y'all but I always get questions about this uh, dryer so I will have a link down below this dryer is so easy y'all like it has a comb attached to it so it just feels like you're just brushing the uh, blow dryer through your hair and it makes it much easier it makes it go by faster as you can see now my hair is like nicely blown out I am using a blow dryer on a hottest setting that's why it's very important to use heat protectant I blow dry my hair like this plenty of times and I don't have heat damage so just to um pull the hair out the way I just put some clips in it so it can kind of keep it straight moving on to the next section I'm adding some spritz of water I'm gonna go in with my heat protecting again, making sure to smooth it all throughout the section. I do about five or six sprays, but if you feel more comfortable adding more, then go for it. It definitely won't hurt you. Um, and then I'm just gonna go through and comb the blow dryer through my hair until it gets to the desired straightness that I want. I try to make it as straight as possible, and I do that by going in a downward motion. This way it'll make it easier for me to see my ends whenever I get to clipping it later on. Once all of my hair is blown out, I just go over it one more time with the blow dryer so you can have like a nice blown out effect. I'm getting re rid of the creases and things like that. So this is what my hair looks like at the back. You can see that it's not too flowy and it's going in all type of different ways. I'm definitely in need of a trim. I think my last trim was in January and it is June. So it's been a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna part my hair into three different sections, two in the front and then one at the back. And I'm just gonna part it straight across and pin the rest up and split each section into two so that I'll be working with smaller pieces and I'm gonna use a rat tail comb which is very important that helps all of your hair 
to be like going the same way because if, if you use a wider tooth comb then it won't be as precise and you can kind of see right there where my hair starts to get transparent that's what I go by so whenever my ends start to look transparent you can see through them then I clip it right there um, I just want to say that I am not a professional and usually I get my hair professionally cut by my stylist but she's always booked man she's super popular and she's really really good so I decided to take it into my own hands <laughs> so um yeah so I'm basically just cutting wherever I see that is transparent I'm cutting it from the sideways and then I'm cutting it down so I'm getting it from two different angles so that the, the cut can be as precise as possible so again, I'm um, parting my hair one section across, and then I'm gonna split this section into two. Some of them I might split into three, it just depends. Um, if you, whatever, however you feel comfortable working with. If you feel comfortable working with really little sections, then that's probably even better, cause it'll be even more precise. So um, I'm just using my rat tail comb to get all of my hair together, and then I'm using my two, my middle finger, and my pointer finger, so that I can kind of clamp the hair down and I can get a good view of where the hair starts to get transparent at the ends and then I clip it. I do that going outward as you can see and then I also do it going downward in the section. So that way, whichever way it goes, then it'll have a nice precise cut. And I pretty much just do that same technique all around. So let me know what you guys think about my technique. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Because I was like, I am going to clip my own ends today. I have clipped my own ends in the past, but I really just like to leave it up to the professional because, I mean, you really, it's no way that you can do a perfect cut when you're clipping your own ends because you can't see the back of your hair. So, um, this is as good as I can get it. And, I mean, it's just hair. It grows back anyway. It's better than having damaged ends. That's what I will say. Once I clipped all of my ends, I'm going to go back and just look through my hair to see what it's looking like. I did just pull it into a big um, handful of hair and then I clipped it so it can all be even. As you can see, I did that on both sides at the top and I'm going to do it also on both sides at the bottom so that whenever I'm styling my hair, everything can be, you know, pretty much even. Like I said earlier, this is not perfect, but yeah, it'll do. Alright, so uh, this is how my hair looks now that it's all clipped. And look how much movement, look how much body we got, girl. Look at you. And look, this is the back view. It makes a really big difference of how it looked from the beginning. Now it's more movement. It's like light and airy. I love it. I think I did a good job. What you guys think? <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the completed look. And now I'm able to do so many cute styles. And my hair going to be banging because my ends are clipped. Like I'm telling you, whenever you have your ends freshly clipped, all your styles, they just come out better. It's so much easier to manage your hair. It's, it's amazing. It's life changing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and comment down below. And as always, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.